Hi, it's Tamara again, and I'm back with another junk journal. This time it's a kind of a Minnie Mouse themed junk journal with all the polka dots. Um, the red and white on the top <laughs> made me think, what's better than adding a little bit more polka dots? So I found this cute little polka dot belt to wrap around there as the enclosure. So I thought that was just the perfect thing to end that, or to put the topping for this mini themed junk journal. So this is um, a junk journal that just kind of represents all over Disneyland. So I have a lot of the, um, a lot of illustrated books in here and stories to kind of lend a little bit of flair. These are just little journal spots that you can write on or have your little boy or little girl write their memories about their trip on or whatever they want to write on. A little mini book right here with a place to stick things just right here. Little clips there and there for Goofy and Minnie to hang out with something. And then a journal page. Um, I started going to Disneyland in earnest back in 1999. My husband and I got married in June of that year and we decided to take a trip through California as our um, a honeymoon. And it wasn't intended to be a trip to Disneyland. It was intended just to be a trip that was part of a bigger trip around the United States. Well, we didn't make it out of California because we ended up spending extra time in Disneyland. Um, we were a little bit resistant to buying a three-day pass thinking one day in Disneyland was going to be enough. But back then, it was only $75 for a three-day pass or $79 for a three-day pass or like $70 for a single day. And so we thought, well, if we end up liking it, these will be really nice, a um, couple extra days for $5, whatever. So we bought our three-day passes and we went um, immediately to uh, Toontown. And we waited in line for 45 minutes to ride that GoGo -Go Gadget coaster that they have there. And we rode it, and if you know anything about that Go Gadget coaster, it is a really fast roller coaster. It's kind of a beginner roller coaster for the little kids, and it's meant to be over really quickly so that it's kind of like a training. Are they going to be okay on other roller coasters? And my husband and I looked at each other afterwards and we're like, uh, what was that? That was not worth the wait. And we were a little disappointed to say the least. The next place we went was Tomorrowland, and that was at the point before um, they had started being really innovative over there, and the Nemo submarines were not up and running. They didn't have the Star Wars um, show. They had like the, the same ride that's there now. And then no Astro Blasters, and instead they had these rocket rods. Well, the rocket rods were the new hot thing at the time, and it was a 90 minute wait for it, which we did, and <laughs> the ride broke down. And so there I am looking at my new husband, newly betrothed, you know, like this is one of our first big decisions together, and neither of us were impressed, but this was definitely more on my plate than his, as I had suggested to go. Finally, we made it over to our favorite, Frontierland, Critter Country, and they still had the Country Bear Jamboree back then. And we went on um, Thunder Mountain Railroad and rode Pirates of the Caribbean and went and saw the Country Bear Jamboree and then found Splash Mountain. And I couldn't ride that ride without a terrified expression on my face. <laughs> So we, but we decided that one of the souvenirs we wanted from our honeymoon was that picture of us riding down the um, the chute, and so we want it over and over and over. And every time, it was just so funny. It was before the digital era, so I don't have a picture of every single one of those. But it was absolute terror going on that every single time. But eventually, we got one where I had kind of a smile on my face. And so we went ahead and bought that one. That was back when I wanted to sit in the front row of that big log ride every time so I get as wet as possible because it was so hot. It was also back when we would actually wait in line for 90 minutes for Splash Mountain rather than using the fast passes. 
There's a little clip there for you to clip things on. A couple little mini books. I'm doing so much storytelling that I'm not even talking about the book so much. But um, through the years, uh, or so that sealed the deal though. After we spent our three days in Disneyland, after kind of rediscovering our roots, we fell in love with Disneyland and became Disney people. I remember we went down to San Diego after that and went to San, or sorry, went into Tijuana. And then looking at our bank account, we thought, oh, well, let's go ahead and head home now. And on our way back, we saw Disneyland from the freeway and we just had to get off the freeway and drive through. And my husband said, do you want to go back to Disneyland for a few days? And I was like, no, let's be responsible and let's go see other things besides just Disneyland. And I didn't really think he was serious, but all these years later, I found out that he was absolutely serious. Would have loved to take his new bride back to Disneyland for another three days. So anyway, that's how my Disney love started. And after that, it just seemed like the place where, where why would you go anywhere else? Everything is all there for you. Get your hotel room, and then you just have to go to the park, and all the fun is right there. So I just, our family is that family. You know, some people go to Hawaii all the time. Some people go to Europe or New York or somewhere new every time. We go to Disneyland with those people, and uh, I'm kind of proud of it at this point. We really love it. It's been a great part of our family life. So this is going to be available on Etsy until it sells, and hopefully this flip through was at least a little interesting to see the book and maybe hear a funny story. I don't know. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day full of magic.